Where is it now? It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Maybe it's in this room. Oh, oh Lord of mercy. There it is. What's it doing out there all on its own? Oh, my goodness. Is that me? Is that really, really me? It can't be. What a way me look young and pretty. Did I really look like that? I suppose I must have. Time is cruel. <laughs> all those years as a nurse, all those hospital, all that work. Nurse Brown, do this. Nurse Brown, do that. Come here, Nurse Brown. My first matron, oh, she was an evil creature. But some of those patients were good souls saying, thank you, nurse. You're an angel. I'll never forget you. But some of them nasty racists, no thank yous from them. I remember one time there was this white man. It wasn't friendly like a joke. He asked me, Oi, nigga, where's your tail? Yes, he said that to me. I'm nursing him, and he had the nerve to talk to me like that. I never forget. It's the same day. She asked me to sit for her. It was a very special exhibition in Birmingham. Oh, she was so excited when she told me, sir. Nobody would be expecting a serious, proper portrait of a humble nurse. In particular, they wouldn't be expecting a black nurse. Oh, yes, yeah, she said that. She wasn't a mealy mouth woman, that one. No. What was her name again? Oh, bless me 60 years. Make a fool of me brain. Irene. Yes. Irene um, Wilburn. Irene Wilburn. How can I forget her after our happened? I used to have to go from work in my uniform several times to sit. But when she got my face right, all of the difficult bit, she finished the painting in a hurry. Never said why. So I never get to sit for her again. Pity. I did love with little chat then. May she let me. <laughs> I had to sit so still. She used to say, Nurse Brown, you're a prize fidget. <laughs> I can't take this scene. I haven't seen my painting for such a long, long time. I didn't e I didn't even get to see when she when she finished it properly. With all my uniform on and thing. But the last time I sat. She did my hands, the other important bit. I think I leave. I need to have a think. Maybe come back later. I, I feel as though I've had a bit of a shock. I need a sweet cup of tea. 
There must be a cat in this big bash art gallery. Not a proper establishment nowadays without his got a calf. I think I'll take a little wonder. Not the best thing I ever did, but I like it, and that's the main thing. I forgot about the hands. I must ask. So much for them here. Far too busy for me. And them prices and my pension. No, Ivy. You better not be bothering. Just go and take one more look before you go home. Oh, I was young and pretty fit, you. And no eyeglass. Excuse me, lady. Hmm? <laughs> May I ask you something, please? Sorry? You, you know a lot about art? A little bit. I used to paint myself. But I was just wondering, because you got all that catalog and thing look like you know what you're doing. I was wondering if you, if you know a lot about paintings. But what do you think about this one? Oh. Oh. Um, according to this, um, yeah, it's boldly impressionistic. A great bit of bravura painting. Bravura. bravura. Oh. oh. Possibly her best portrait. Oh. You sound surprised. Well, so it's a good painting then. I'd like to think so. Um, someone once told me it was their favourite painting in the gallery. Oh. Mm -hmm. But it's got its faults. Really? I think it's wonderful. We're wrong with it. Take a really good look. Tell me, what do you really see? Go on. But, well, I don't like the way the hat is cut off. And the nurses got on our full uniform. The apron, the long sleeve, even our cloak. What wears our belt? The ones them with the big buckle. And there's no watch. The ones we used to wear hanging off our uniform. And um, what about the hands? Well, hands are important. Yes. Why? I was told that hands are very difficult to do, to get them to look relaxed and, and natural. I don't think those look very natural. I think they could be called mannered. But that's because they mean something. Yes. She making a gesture with them. Maybe it's a woman symbol. 
A lot of women these days would recognize that. Ah, uh, maybe. It's a Masonic one. Mm -hmm. There was plenty of women Masonics in the Royal Hospital, you know. They said that Mechan was one. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's something to do with fate. A symbol for Rastafari and the line of Judah. Why won't you tell me which one it was? What do you mean? How can I? You can tell me because you were there. That's your picture, isn't it? No, no that, that's not me. Lady, thank you for talking, but I must be going. How can she? Where she come from? How can she know that? Lydia, all right. All right, this is me. Oh, you know that. I know because I... I know because it looks like you. Oh, can you say that after all these years? A good artist doesn't just paint a face. They paint the person behind the face. This woman remains true to herself. Don't you, Nurse Brown? <laughs> oh, please. It's Ivy. <laughs> yes, Ivy. <laughs> Didn't I look confident then? You look confident and, um, what's the word, um, feisty. <laughs> I, what you know about feisty? <laughs> I was, you know. There I was, fresh as a daisy and full of hope, qualifying Jamaica and answering the call to come and work in the mother country. You know, the famous NHS was only eight years old then. When I arrived, my training wasn't properly taken into account. It was scandalous. They gave me very basic work, more like an orderly. <laughs> but after a couple of weeks, them could say Sir Nurse Brown didn't know exactly <laughs> what she was doing. So then they gave me my correct peer and grade. Still, I was only just a junior nurse at the seniors' beck and call, and all those white male doctors are puff up them chests and are going like little gods. Boy, thank goodness I did have a little acknowledgement and respect. Respect is important. Thank you, lady. That's all we did want. All we black nurses and our holy paddy Asian ones will come afterwards. We didn't make up about 20% um, of the hospital staff. That is a vital part of the workforce. But still, they never want to give us none of the senior jobs then. Was there much racism then? <laughs> yes, yes. Still some no. But it wasn't just us nurses that take the racism. I knew this young woman doctor, mixed race. Our father come from Guyana. And our mama was white Scottish, yes. 
she come clear from Glasgow down to the Midlands. She tell me, say, and one as she night shift in A &E, I think it was, yeah, A &E. One old Glaswegian drunk get knocked down by a bus in a bad way. But still, him shout out, say him, no one get treated by no black bastard. Oh, what did she do? <laughs> she was from Glasgow too. <laughs> so she said to him, that's a pity, cause I'm the black bastard that's trying to save your life. <laughs> we laugh, you see. But what should she have done if he hadn't? Calm down. Well, look, when those things is going on, you just have to put up with it. You shouldn't have to, but you do. There's no hope of change with some of them. Racism, them too ignorant to be grateful. And do you think they should be grateful? You take this thing for joke. Of course, look, when a patient recover, it's because of a team. You have your GP, you have your paramedic, you have your doctors, them, them, them diagnosing, prescribing, performing surgery. But if it wasn't for we nurses, ensuring, say all of those interventions are monitored, supported and made to work hmm. yes of course we must have a little gratitude and with and with covid so much more now look that's what everybody's saying it's nice when them come out and clap but all we want is to get on with we job for a decent peer that's we just like everybody else in the community, just trying to make hens meet and raise a family and thing. The sacrifice. In my long, no, son, listen to me. In my long, long career, I see plenty bad nurses, but a whole heap of good ones, and that's what matters. You will know that. The sacrifices some nurses have made. All of the nurses and doctors now. A lot of them dying from it. Look. Right. Excuse me. For even so. Even though a lot of them died for me. I know some friend may have right here in Wolverhampton, Honey London. And them have people they died. I think right now we all do. It's a very, very sad time. You know, something. All those years as a nurse, all the things me take, all this racism that going on. I remember right here in Wolverhampton, all the things that me see. I never think, say, I would have seen the day when white as well as black people don't see racism, don't hear racism, them, um, what's the word them use? Them calling it out. Black lives matter. There was time, look, a lot of bad things happen. We have. Martin Luther King. We have. Now, if you sit down. Martin Luther King. 
Just the other day, George Floyd losing his life to that American cop. Nothing here, riot. It's, there's too much of them. But also some good things. Some good things happen like, um, uh, there's the parks. Yes, lady. Rosa Parks refusing to stand up on the bus. And the uh, apartheid ending in South Africa. Mandela. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. And what about Beyonce? <laughs> and Serena Williams. You would have loved them too. <laughs> and a black American president. And uh, Lenny Henry. <laughs> he's a big star now, you know. <laughs> Lenny Henry was just born on the road there in Dudley. A lot of people nowadays trying to create a better world. Even in Wolverhampton? You in Wolverhampton, let me tell you something. There's a lot of people in Wolverhampton was very angry with this yet nasty Tory government. Persecuting the Windrush people, they might put ban upon them, van saying, go home or fierce arrest. All those people, um, Refugee and immigrant centers. Yes, they was trying to help Pilot Wilson. But before that, there was, there was this, I can't remember, there was this white poet. Um, she tried to have some kind of benefit in a pub. Um, Emma, Emma Purse House. Yes, you know, you know a lot. Emma Purse House, she organized the whole thing. A poor Pilot Wilson. She worked so hard, selflessly free. Others. And then she died. It's so unjust. And uh, uh, another black woman, Eleanor Smith. Eleanor Smith. Right. She used, yes, she used to be our MP. She, she took over the seat of Ina Powell. She was a nurse herself for 40 years. Yes. As she say in the paper, that the healthcare managers must learn. A lot of we black people have very suspicious of this Good old NHS. <laughs> well, I can understand because we have to put up with so much racist shit every day. Them things say eh? in America, some of we black people was experimented on. So I understand when them no one get joke with the very thing that could save them. It's a shame. But you see me? <laughs> me not ready for dead yet. Me have mine weeks ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> me make sure me take mine weeks ago, love. Oh, God. How those years, eh? You never, you never know the world would change and keep changing. That all those things would happen. Look at you. Fresh as a daisy and full of hope. <laughs> Thank you for talking to me, lady. You know? 
Enough people did think so. I was a little sassy. That I was so wonderful. Sometimes they think me too sassy, I'd feed them, and we have little quarrel. Has anybody told you you are wonderful, Nurse Brown? Yes, plenty of people over the years. <laughs> like those patients we tell you about, <laughs> and my family. I remember when my poor mother died, and we was on our way to Jimmy at Kingston for our funeral. You know, say, where are you going? I'm afraid I have to be elsewhere. She gone? She's a bit strange, a bit rude. Still, it was nice of her to talk to me. A stranger? Or was it? I didn't know you could meet such interesting people in a art gallery. I must come again. Hmm. Oh, I was a looker. Still am. Um.